outside on the porch for this week's auction. Hmm. Not too much out here. We got a really cool windmill here. Kind of cool. Anything to the table? Like this. Mm -hmm. This is interesting. Glasses. What do we got here? You said pottery. I like this little set. I don't know why, but I do. It's that matching salt and pepper shaker. That's cute too. This is really neat down here. This is the Deluxe Dream Kitchen. Looks like the chair is broken, but it might all be there. Some paper goods and photos. Some jewelry. Anything interesting? Looks like bits and bobs. Yep. Go ahead. Ooh, there's all boxes. Little change purse. Lots of satin silver dust. Little glass right here. These are neat. I had some 
in the past of the wind saw well off in the but they still need to get there. Some temptations. I like this sort of thing. Mm -hmm. That still has the sandy in it. Let's see. Little bunny. Very neat. It's like I've heard of shed kicks. Some jewelry, sorry for the glare. Cool bracelet made out of bakelite pieces. Let's see what the box is. There's not a ton out here this week because we're getting ready for the 4th of July sale, so... Hey everyone, welcome back. Hope you enjoyed that auction preview. Didn't get a ton of stuff, but I got some pretty cool stuff. And I didn't spend a whole lot, which is always good. So, uh, we'll just jump right in and see what I got. First thing I picked up was this vase. I thought it was really pretty. It's got some texture to it. It's not just um, in the glass. It's actually on the glass, the pinstriping beautiful cobalt blue color and you can see it kind of winds from the bottom and goes the whole way up and I didn't pay too much for this so I thought I got a pretty good deal on it I think it should do pretty well I did buy the lot of pink transferware the reason I bought that is I really liked 
this transferware mug from Florida. It's the Redware Staffordshire, England. It's Florida, the Sunshine State. I see blue ones listed on eBay uh, for a variety of prices, but I don't see any sold or completed listings in the red. So I'm hoping this does pretty well. So as you can see, it's very cool. I think somebody will really appreciate that. That lot also came with some other pieces of transferware. There's this picture here, which is not bad. Um, I don't think it's terribly old. I just think it's, it's a newer piece. There is this creamer and sugar set, which is really pretty. It's in the red transfer wear. This is Johnson Brothers England Old Britain Castles. So there's some castles on there. Again, very pretty set. Couple looks like ironstone bone dishes. Very nice. This nice ironstone John John Stevenson bowl. And the weird thing about it is the the um, stamp is printed on the side of the bowl, so that's kind of interesting. This really pretty Courier and Ives Homer Lachlan plate and the red and white. And then this older piece of Mason's china with the handles. It's got some crazing on it, but I actually think that adds to it. So very pretty piece. I'll stick that down here. I did buy the lot of Christmas items. Um, that was actually the most expensive thing. Shocker, right? But there are some interesting pieces. We got this flock Santa. Now he's seen better days. He needs a little love. So we'll see about, see if we can get him, getting him fixed up. Maybe turn him into a craft project. Got this candy container. He's pretty cool. This one I really like because it's got the original candy in it. And his original tag. So that may stay in the collection. This guy is a real nice one made in Japan. So he'll go up for grabs because I think I already have one or two of him. This cute little spun cotton Santa with his little accordion. Um, I need to work on bending him a little bit. He seems to be laying backwards, but we'll, we'll get him fixed up. This little finger hugger, I call him, Santa. This I really like. This is a spun cotton Easter bunny. So that's gonna stay with me. He's not perfect, but I think he's cute. The little Santa guy. Make sure. Oh. And then these two older snow globes. This one has no liquid in it, but it has the cool snowman on top. This one has some liquid. So these would be something. I might lot some things together and sell them as it is. Just to move it along. Do a little maybe Christmas craft project kind of thing. And I also got this very nice Christmas hanky with the, the holly on it that I'll use at Christmas time to put under something. So that was pretty cool. I did get this little Murano bowl ashtray. I thought that was really pretty. It's a really nice cobalt color with the silver. This rainbow glass bird, which I've sold these before and I did really well with it. So that's, that's a good piece. This piece was interesting. It's a little banged up, but I don't know. It came with it. So it's like a little shoe with some, some stones in it. And I really like this little trinket box. I thought this was really pretty. It's got like an enamel on it. Very nice piece. So that was a good lot. Um, there was a trade lot of little small things that I bought. These are, it's a tin for cigarette loud loads, which were, these were little bombs that you could put in people's cigarettes back in the day. 
I bought this for a very specific reason. I'm going to give it to my dad when I see him tomorrow. Um, he actually had these when he was a kid, and he put them in my granny's cigarettes, and they blew up in her face. So I thought he would appreciate this. He told me that story years ago, so he's going to get this little guy here, but I think he'll appreciate that. Something little. He's not big on collecting, so he'll enjoy that. Um, I'm not really sure. Oh, these are matches. This little stock matchbook. This is brandy, but the matches in here are like microscopic. I mean, look how tiny that is. There's a ton of them in here. That's pretty. That's pretty funny. And then on the bottom, it's a. And then there's like a, an advertisement in there. But yeah, look at them all. I thought that was pretty cool. This little. Um, I'm trying to see what it says. Washington D.C. This little mother of pearl hatchet thermometer for Washington D.C. I thought that was pretty cool. This I just thought was interesting. It says buy Wilson's Corn King Bacon. It's a pin back. But I thought that was really an odd thing. And this is one that says Grubbs Ice Cream. I ate a pig's dinner at Grubbs Ice Cream. I picked that up. This is Go to Hell. I like them and I'm gonna I'm going to smoke them. It's a pack of cigarettes. Cigarettes actually, I know it's not the best thing, but they actually sell online. Uh, people collect the old packs. So I thought that was pretty cool. That came on the tray. And then these I really like. There's one missing, so it's a set of five of these little games with little cards. Very cute in the holder. So I picked that up. Now I'm going to stop here for a minute and then go over and show you the other item I bought. And then we'll continue the video, so stay tuned. All right, excuse the mess on the table and in the corner there, I'm preparing to head back to New Jersey. So this came, I picked this up and it came in the original box. Now the box is not in the best shape, it's seen better days, and the set's not in the best shape and it's seen better days. Um, I had to glue this part onto the stove because it broke and then somebody had repaired this a long time ago and I had to re-glue it. But it came with the whole set, table, chairs, cabinet, and all these little pieces. So there's food, there's pans, there's dishes. Um, one of these cabinets I think has, but this one has some of the products still in it. And guys, I paid five dollars for the whole set. I mean, some of the plastic food and the utensils alone, I think, would bring more than that. But five dollars for that. So I think with the kitchen set, I'm going to see if, about maybe using it to do something like a photo shoot or something. I might reach out to my friend Nicole, see what she thinks. And then we'll revisit finding it a new home, but for five bucks, I mean, I couldn't pass it up. So that is the auction haul. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what your favorite thing was that I picked up. Most of this is going to find its way to my eBay store. A link is down in the description below. If you like the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And most importantly, if you're not subscribed, and I know there's a lot of you watching this video that, is, that have not subscribed yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button because it helps me out and it lets you know when I put new content out. So make sure you do that. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the auction preview and the haul video, and we will see you on the next one.